appendix B, integrated case study MCQs. So, you will get a 15 marks on MCQ. In that 15 marks, so you will be having like uh, one case scenario MCQ on GST, which will be for 8 to 10 marks. One situation they will give like this, followed by some 5 MCQs, 2 marks each, 10 marks, sometimes 4 MCQs, 2 marks each. So, that is how they will be giving. Sometimes 2 case scenario MCQs they will give for you know 6 questions, 6 into 2, 12 marks and 1 or 2 normal questions they will be giving. Okay, And uh, scoring this MCQs is actually you know a challenge, but if you are doing it you will be in the exemption. Already I shared with you one student who got 15 out of 15 now, that is one student. Recently another student also has sent, okay. So, I asked my team, uh, today only they have sent, so a student by name Priya. So, see cleared group 1 with exemption 66 marks, MCQ part IDT 15 out of 15, okay. So, therefore, you can score 15 out of 15 also and our target is 50 out of 50. Why are we can uh, So, aim for it. See this case study 1. Measures Aditi and Co, a partnership firm registered under GST is undertaking various government projects. So, they have given one paragraph. Now, never read the paragraph first. Go to the MCQs. Then you read the paragraph because in paragraph lot of data will be there. You do not know what is relevant, what is not relevant, etc. and all. So, when you read, it is like a novel you are reading without any objective. So, but when you see the MCQs, you will know, okay, what is the question? Accordingly, you will read and you can connect. First MCQ, in respect of vehicles let out on hire by the firm, service that are exempt from GST are, so there is some exemption related question. So, whenever they are letting out the vehicles on hire, letting out vehicles on hire, renting of motor vehicles, some exemptions are there, that point they are testing. Next, determine the amount of eligible ITC to be claimed. So, ITC related one question is there. Determine the amount of ITC to be added to the output tax liability. Then, which of the following is correct in respect of document to be issued by the firm for understatement and overstatement of invoice value? So, that debit note, credit note related provision is there. Which of the following statement is correct in respect of supply of goods received by the firm which are taxable under RCM? For RCM, what is the document that they have to give? So, that one question is there. Now, now we will read. So, this partnership firm has let out on hire the following vehicles. A motor vehicle to carry more than 15 passengers to a state government electricity department. Taxable or exempted? Taxable. Capacity more than 12 passengers to a state road transport undertaking is only exempted. Here it is to a state government electricity department. So, therefore, this activity will be taxable. This activity will be taxable. Then, an electric motor vehicle, electric vehicle to carry more than 12 passengers to local municipal corporation exempted. So, hiring of motor vehicle that can carry, electric motor vehicle that can carry more than 12 passengers to a local authority is exempted. An electric motor vehicle to carry up to 12 passengers to state transport undertaking exempted any motor vehicle. Let it be electric, I told you this point, you have written also. Electric motor vehicle or normal motor vehicle, because they use the word hiring of a motor vehicle that can carry more than 12 passengers to a state road transport undertaking is exempted. Now, actually one MCQ is there related to this. Out of this, which is exempted? 1 and, no, 2 and 3 are exempted. So, state electricity department is taxable, that electric vehicle 
to this so 2 and 3 option D is the answer ok next number 2 determine the amount of eligible ITC to be claimed by the firm for the month of October so they have given some additional information for the month of October works contract service were availed for construction of immobile property being plant and machinery where the value of GST component was 180,000 ITC available or ITC not available ITC available why generally works contract service is block credit but when it is used for construction of plant and machinery we can take ITC GST amounting to 70,000 was paid on account of demand of the department due to fraud in the returns filed first of all you know we cannot take ITC why we cannot take ITC because the supplier will not be reporting it in GSTR 1 because he did a fraud he did a fraud means he will not be reporting so we cannot take ITC moreover it is also there in the blocked credit multiple places we discussed goods valuing 10 lakhs GST on the same 1 lakh were received 180 days ago invoice also issued on the date of receipt of supply for which the payment has been made till date to an extent of 4 lakhs towards value and 40,000 towards tax. So, we got an invoice for 10 lakhs plus 1 lakh which were received 180 days ago means at the time itself we would have availed ATC but we did not pay full amount within 180 days. How much amount we paid within 180 days? 4 lakh plus 40,000. So, whatever extent we have not paid we need to reverse the ITC. So, reverse ITC. What is the extent to which we need to reverse ITC? 60,000 proportionate. There is one MCQ related to that also. Say this. First, determine the eligible ITC to be claimed in the month of October. Only one ITC that is 1 lakh 10,000. This 70,000 cannot be taken. And what is the ITC to be added? ITC to be added to output tax liability means what? Reversal of ITC that is 60,000. How is that 60,000? Simple pa, out of 10 lakhs, 4 lakhs is paid. Now, what is not paid? 6 lakhs. So, 6 lakhs related GST. You understood? So, 6 lakhs not paid. 6 lakhs not paid within 180 days. Not paid within 180 days. Therefore, ITC reversal, ITC reversal is 60,000 proportionate, ok. Then next, the firm made two independent outward supplies in which value was understated in one case by 75,000. See, in invoice when you understate, understate means what? You charge it less. Now, you collect more amount. What is the document that you need to give? Debit note. So, for 75,000 we need to give a debit note and overstated by 45,000 means we need to reduce. To reduce what is the document that we will give? Credit note. So, debit note for 75,000 and credit note for 45,000. So, option 1 and 4, option C. Clear? So, reduction, increase, increase, increase in invoice value, increase in invoice value, what is the document, debit note and decrease in invoice value, what is the document, credit note, credit note, ok. Increase in invoice value debit note, decrease in invoice value credit note. Next, which of the following statements is correct in respect of supply of goods received by the firm which are taxable under reverse charge? They gave one point related to the C that is. The firm received certain supply of goods from registered person on which they need to pay tax under RCM. So, for that they are asking, firm shall issue payment voucher at the time of making payment to supplier, correct? Huh? Yes. In case of RCM, the recipient has to give payment voucher to the supplier as and when they make payment to the supplier. This is true. 
firm shall issue invoice for supply of goods whether the supplier is registered or unregistered registered so no need to give invoice only if the supplier is unregistered person and the supply is covered under rcm recipient should give invoice to the supplier in this case supplier is registered so no need to give invoice to supplier supplier only should give invoice to the recipient firm shall issue receipt voucher at the time of making payment to supplier receipt voucher will not come receipt voucher will come only in case of advance received firm is not required to issue any document in respect of such supply false so only a first point is only correct clear here see like this combination they will be asking what are all the questions exemptions is there then documents is there tax invoice debit not credit not and then itc related provisions are also there okay next case study 2 here see the questions which of the following is not considered as supply so there is one question determine the value of taxable services under rcm then in respect of sale of personal car and disposal of computer and stock value of supply will be time of supply of goods received by mr pasupati good time of supply of goods received by pasupati then compute the amount of itc except itc on service taxable under riverstar that can be claimed by mr pasupati so there is questions on this input tax credit and other things have a look into this case study too mr pasupati registered taxpayer under gst is engaged in trading of various types of consumer goods his turnover in the preceding financial year was below the threshold limit liable for registration okay he issued various bill of exchange unsecured debentures and promissory notes in the course of his business activity huh. is it supply or not a supply bill of exchange bill of exchange supply or money bill of exchange is covered under money money is neither goods nor services same way promissory notes also not a supply but unsecured debentures will come under actionable claims actionable claims are treated as goods then further he is also engaged in betting activities betting activities is also supply okay now during the month of april but sir unsecured debentures won't it come under securities yes debentures will come under securities when debentures come under securities securities also neither goods nor services na sir yes that is the view that should be taken so this is the first question there is a first question related to that you see which of the following is not considered as supply bill of exchange is not supply why not supply why not supply because it is money it is covered under money unsecured debentures also not a supply why because it comes under securities then betting is supply no doubt because actionable claims other than lottery betting gambling hc blog so therefore betting will be coming under supply because it comes under hc blog promissory note not a supply because it will come under money it will come under money definition so therefore they are asking which of these are not considered which is not considered one two and four option d is the answer then next continue during the month of april in the current year he availed the following services gta services from xyz transport gst was charged at 5% 35000 so gta service from xyz transports mm. So then GST 5%, we don't know na, whether it is FCM or RCM, but I told you, if nothing is given, if GTA not opted for payment of GST under FCM, by default it will be which option? 
RCM option. 12% when you have, it is FCM. GTA is having two rates. Two rates. 12% with ITC, 5% without ITC. This is FCM. RCM, always 5%. Now, the moment they give 12% to the patient, no doubt it is FCM, GTA will pay. But when you see 5%, the confusion will come because FCM also 5% is there, RCM also 5% is there. What you need to see is that who is liable to pay GST primarily, nothing is given, RCM, RCM, that is recipient will pay. If GTA opts to pay GST under FCM, then the liability gets shifted to GTA, okay. Where is it given? To whom? Pasupati. They are giving for Pasupati, not for GTA, not for GTA. GTA service from XYZ transport. So, XYZ transport is the supplier. GTA is the XYZ transport. Recipient is Pasupati. Pasupati is also registered. It, where is it given? Not registered. He is also registered. Only thing during the previous year, his aggregate or not does not exceed threshold. But this year, he is registered. Okay. So, this will be coming under RCM because nowhere it is given that GTA opted to pay GST under FCM, that is why it is RCM. So, who will pay GST on this GTA services? Pasupati will pay. Renting of go down premises from local authority, local authority renting of immobile property to business entity will come under RCM. Legal service availed from firm of advocate exempted why exempted services provided by advocate to a business entity whose turnover during previous year does not exceed threshold limit is exempted that's how it connected okay so therefore it is exempted now there is one mcq determine the value of services taxable under rcm what is the value of service taxable under rcm 35 and 40, 35 and 40, 75, option B. Next one, first line, his turnover in the preceding financial year, Pasupati is a business entity, his turnover in the previous year does not exceed the threshold limit for registration, due to that reason it is exempted. He sold a car used for his personal purposes for rupees 1 lakh. He disposed of his old computers for rupees 60,000 on which no ITC was claimed. He also, first he sold a car used for personal purposes for 1 lakh. Is it supply or not a supply? Car, sale of car activity for consideration 1 lakh but not in the course or furtherance of business. So, not a supply. He disposed of his old computers for 60,000 on which no IT issue was claimed. So, disposal of business asset for consideration. Disposal of business asset for consideration, whether IT is availed or not availed, relevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. So, 71A. He also gave away his stock of old consumer goods amounting to 75,000. Gave away. He did not sell. Okay. Gave away to an orphanage. Gave away to an orphanage means he did not sell. But he claimed ITC, that is also supply 71C. Now, related to that, they gave one question. In respect of sale of personal car, sale of personal car not a supply, correct? Or? And not in the course or furtherance of business. Disposal of computer 71A, stock of goods 71C. Okay. So, what is the value of computer? For what price? 60,000 and stock of goods amounting to 75,000. So, what is the value of supply? 60 and 75, that will be 1 lakh 35,000, 1 lakh 35,000. But see here, what they are telling, he disposed of his old computers. So, they did not tell whether that is used in the business or not. 
they use a the word his old computers actually stock means not that it is business but old computers his old computers means it may be his personal computer therefore this is not a supply the seven one you also will not come because they use the word his his computer so not a supply same reason why it is not a supply these two not in the course or further ends of business not in the course or further ends of business due to that reason the answer will be only 75000 you understood here then four for that there is one more point given continue question he received goods on 1st may that are liable to tax and the reverse charge so goods rcm what is the time of supply the date on which we received the goods okay invoice was issued on 5th may payment was made on 6th june the date on which payment is made to supplier or 61st day or 31st day 31st day 31st day so time of supply in case of goods 12 subsection 3 section 12 subsection 3 date on which goods are received or date on which payment is made or 31st day from the date of invoice so as per section 12 sub section 3 we need to take a date of receipt of goods date of goods what is the date on which goods are received date of goods received first april or may first may then next we need to take so date of payment what is the date of payment to supplier what is the date on which payment is made to supplier 6th june 6th june and then see 31st day from date of invoice what is 31st day from date of invoice date of invoice is what invoice was issued on 5th may 5th may you count 31st day 31 minus 5 26 days in may and uh, so 31st means 5th of june 5th of june so which is earlier whichever is earlier which is earlier 1st may is earlier so option a is the answer date of receipt of goods date of payment 31st day from the date of invoice whichever is earlier so first may will be taken as the answer for this then next continue he paid repair expenses for the truck used for transportation of goods for his business generally truck he can take it is easy yes as truck he can take it is easy on repair expense also he can take it is easy he arranged for catering on labor day function and paid a bill in which gst component was 15000 itc cannot be taken why outdoor catering food and beverages is blocked it nowhere it is given that it is a statutory obligation etc due to the reason they cannot take itc he received first lot of certain goods having a gst component of 25000 only on receipt of last lot here also itc cannot be taken so only one case itc can be taken that is 13000 okay remaining two cases itc cannot be taken understood so then next one case study 3 case study 3 you see the questions vittal and co needs to furnish a statement containing the details of stock of inputs inputs held in finished goods on withdrawal of composition scheme so they are asking about 181 c withdrawal of composition scheme to normal scheme availment of itc on closing stock in respect of goods sent on sale on return or sale on approval or on return basis invoice should be issued by so that is the due date of invoice sale on approval or on return section 31 sub section 7 then determination of amount of eligible itc then amount of itc to be reversed here also there is a question on reversal of itc then time of supply in respect of service imported by vital and co from its associated enterprises okay 
So time of supply in case of import of service from associate enterprise one proviso is there. Date on which payment is made to supplier or date of entry in the books of the recipient whichever is earlier like that one point. So that. Now look into case 3. Messrs. Vittal and Co. A registered supplier under GST is dealing in supply of taxable goods in the state of Karnataka. The firm opted for composition scheme since April. Its turnover crossed 150 crores on 9th May and has opted for withdrawal of composition scheme in the set, on the set date. So they crossed 1.5 crores on 9th May and they are coming out of the composition scheme. Vittal and Co. sent goods on 10th June to Suri and Co. on sale or return basis. Suri and Co. accepted the goods via it confirmation mail dated 15 December. So we have an MCQ related to due date of invoice in case of sale on approval or on return basis. As per section 31 subsection 7, what will be taken as due date of invoice in case of sale on approval or on return basis. Due date of invoice is A, date of acceptance by the buyer. What is the date of acceptance by buyer? Date of acceptance by buyer that is when he accepted 15th December. 15th December and next 6 months from the date of removal. 6 months from date of removal. What is 6 months from date of removal? So, the date of removal, Vittal and Co. sent goods on 10th June to Suri. So, 10th June, you count July, August, September, October, November, December. So, 10th December, 10th December, whichever is earlier. Which is earlier? 10th December. So, option C is the answer for this. Then, first MCQ you see. When are they exiting from composition scheme? 9th May. So, which means which date they will Vittal and Co. needs to furnish a statement containing the detail that is ITC 1. What is the time limit by which ITC 1 needs to be furnished? 30 days from date of exit. What is the date of exit? 9th May plus 30 days. What is 30 days from 9th May? 8th of June. So, option C, 8th of June. Simple questions only. Okay. Huh, but provision you need to apply. Yes. For me, it will be easy only. But you have to apply. This is actually section 18, 1C. The next one. The firm has paid GST for various items during the month of August. It comprised of the following. GST paid on input services intended to be used for personal purpose. Can we take ITC? No. Block the credit. GST paid on purchase of motor vehicle for business use being a two wheeler having a engine capacity of 25 cc huh? more than so less than 25 cc is not a motor vehicle i told you we have got one motor vehicle definition so we discussed that in section 9 subsection 5 Per Motor Vehicle Act. But does not include a vehicle running upon a fixed rails or a vehicle of special type adapted for use only in a factory or in any other introduced premises 
or a vehicle having less than four wheels that is three wheels or uh, two wheels with engine capacity not exceeding 25 cc means less than or equals to 25 cc is first of all not a motor vehicle as it is not a motor vehicle and it is used for business purpose ITZ can be availed so we will apply the block the credit point and by applying block the credit point we will think that block credit, it is motor vehicle not eligible for ITZ but actually first of all it is not a motor vehicle because engine capacity exactly 25 cc means it is not a motor vehicle not a motor vehicle as it is not a motor vehicle we can take ITZ with respect to this GST paid on purchase of computer they gave one point GST portion was included as a part of cost to claim the depreciation can we take ITC or we cannot take ITC we cannot take ITC so here they gave compute the amount of eligible ITC what is it eligible ITC only 19,000 got it so motor vehicle motor vehicle excludes less than four wheeler less than four wheeler with capacity less than or equals to 25 cc that's why eligible for itc okay no, that's why we are not able to take itc they are talking about computer they purchased a computer for the computer GST portion was included as a part of cost of claim under dip, no income tax act this point is for C computer point huh? 19 oh, ok 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 only 9000 can be availed so maybe it is a print error pa only 9000 can be availed okay okay 19000 cannot be availed only this 9000 rupees can be availed next one second so during may so this is for which period pa August so that is the question so for August what is the thing so maybe some typo it could be 9000 is the correct answer okay not 19000 because for computers GST portion we are claiming the depreciation during May now they gave some May details Vittal and company has reversed ITC of 10,000 for not making payment to vendors within the time prescribed under GST. This pending payment was cleared in the month of August. Uh, now can they take ITC? Yes, maybe because of this, understood. 19,000 is given. So first, they will take ITC of 9,000 and plus reavailment of ITC reversed. Reavailment of ITC reversed, that is 10,000 and because for the month of August only that is happening so that is where total it will be 19,000 so B is correct only 19,000 because this point I did not read so 10,000 rupees they have reavailed as ITC then out of purchases made an ITC availed during earlier months the following information is available as on September say this so we made purchases from three suppliers XYZ ABC and PQR Payment due 165, 199 and 99 days related ITC component. You tell me which is overdue by 180 days. ABC. So, this 15,000 needs to be reversed. So, here compute the amount of ITC to be reversed is 15,000 because as per as per rule 37 payment not made within 180 days payment not made within 180 days 
from date of invoice from date of invoice itc needs to be reversed itc needs to be reversed if the payment is not made to supplier within 180 days from the date of invoice so much of the itc that we have away needs to be reversed then next vittal and co received accounting services from ragu and co and associated enterprises located in sri lanka in case of import of services from associated enterprises what will be the time of supply as per section 13 subsection 3 proviso we have one point which says usually 13 subsection 3 what will be taken as the time of supply the date on which payment is made to supplier rcm rcm the date on which payment is made to supplier or 61st day from the date of invoice whichever is earlier but in case of associated enterprises there won't be invoice due to that reason we need to take date of payment to supplier date of payment to supplier or date of entry in books of recipient date of entry in books of recipient you see the question and tell me what is the date on which payment is made to supplier so ragu and co invoiced on 1st september which was entered by vittal in its books on 10 september but the payment was made on 30th september so 30th september or date of entry in the books of recipient when it was entered in the book 10th october so that is 10th october whichever is earlier which is earlier 30th september is earlier that should be taken okay so import of service will come under rcm in case of import of service by associated enterprises we need to apply this proviso